Make today iconic. What's up, guys? It's Upcom Sports back with another realistic rebuild here on my channel. In this one, we're doing the Detroit Pistons. Here are the objectives if you guys want to pause the video. These are the settings I use. Um, I do use Trade Override just for the first couple of trades because 2K is so unrealistic with the trades that I make my own trades that I think are, you know, fair for both teams and would help both teams out. So that's just a little twist on my videos that I do. So after that, I do turn Trade Override off. But here is the roster for the Pistons in the first season. Obviously, they got Blake Griffin in a trade. They drafted Kyrie Thomas out of Creighton. So he's going to be a nice young piece. They also have Luke Kennard out of Duke. And they have Bruce Brown Jr. out of Miami. So th they have some good uh, young building pieces. And there is one thing that in this season, I'm not going to make any trades. I'm going to leave the rotation as is. And if we do not make the playoffs, I will consider trading Blake Griffin in the offseason. But let's see what happens. So Steph Curry wins MVP for the Warriors. DeAndre Ayton, Rookie of the Year, Tatum, Sixth Man, Chris Dunn, Most Improved, and Steve Kerr, Coach of the Year. Let's see if anyone made an All-NBA team. Andre Drummond made the All-NBA third team. That's pretty surprising. Um, defensive teams, I don't think so. And rookie teams, yeah, no one. But we did not make the playoffs. We were actually one of the worst teams in the East, 12th seed. So, yeah, I think I have to trade Blake Griffin. It was a good experiment. I gave them a year, a full year to operate Drummond and Blake Griffin, but looks like it's not going to work out. Blake Griffin only 17 points per game. That's not really good. Luke Kennard had a pretty good season, though, so that's good. Kyrie Thomas also had a pretty good season. But let's see who wins the playoffs in this season. I would imagine the Warriors are going to take it all. And it's a Celtics Warriors Finals, Steph Curry Finals MVP. So we have the 8th odds at the number 1 pick, and we do have the 8th pick in the draft. And here's a trade that I found that I think both teams could benefit from. Blake Griffin, he's a win now player, and we're trying to go into kind of a rebuild here after not making the playoffs. The Mavericks have expressed they want to be in the playoffs, they want to be competing. I don't know why, but... So with the 6th pick in the draft, we are going to pick up Blake Griffin's replacement you could say in Nazaron Reed out of LSU and with the eighth pick in the draft we are going to take Keldon Johnson out of Kentucky it'll be a nice shooting guard for us slash small forward so for this season this is what the roster is looking like we kept Andre Drummond Reggie Jackson Nazaron Reed Keldon Johnson Stanley Johnson Bruce Brown Luke Kennard Kyrie Thomas Reggie Bullock but I don't expect to make the playoffs again, but at least we're going in the right direction with young players and we'll see if we have a top five pick or not. So Steph Curry wins MVP again for the Warriors. Bowl Bowl Rookie of the Year for the Clippers. Tatum again, six man and Mike D'Antoni Coach of the Year for the Rockets. Let's see if Drummond made a team. He made the All-NBA third team again, averaging about 13 and 12. Not too bad. He also made a defensive team, so that's pretty impressive. Um, we had Nazaron Reed on the all-rookie second team. Pretty good averages from him. And we barely made missed the playoffs. Ninth seed for us, winning 37 games. So not as bad as I thought we would do, but we should still have a pretty good pick in the lottery. And we do have the Mavericks pick if it's outside of the lottery. So... That'll be nice for us. Pretty good season from everyone. Keldon Johnson actually had a pretty good solid rookie season, but let's see who wins the playoffs. I'd imagine the Warriors again, because you know, they just ruined the NBA. They like doing that and stuff, but the Sixers are actually gonna win. I was hoping a nice point guard would fall to us in the draft, but we're gonna have to trade for him. So pick 12 for this point guard that went 11 just ahead of us and they agree so i'm trading Kyrie thomas for a backup center in brooke lopez just because we have too many shooting guards and small forwards and we need some backup big men so hopefully they'll do this 
So for the season, this is what the team is rocking with. Andre Drummond, 89 overall. Nazron Reed, 83. Keldon Johnson, Luke Kennard. Stanley Johnson, who I might trade because he's not really producing as I would like. But here's our rotation. We are going to start the rookie point guard, and Reggie Jackson's going to come off the bench. So Giannis wins MVP for the Bucks. Not Seth Curry. Charles Basie, Rookie of the Year. Michael Porter Jr., Most Improved. And Steve Kerr, Coach of the Year. Let's see if Drummond made a team again. He did not make a team this year. So that's pretty surprising. But we did not make the playoffs again. We were actually really bad. 14th seed, only winning 36 games. So we'll have another top pick. We might trade it away because I think we're ready to make the playoffs. And we're trying to win now, obviously. So we might trade that pick away, and obviously we have Dallas's pick too. So Keldon Johnson had a really nice season again. All of our young guys are progressing pretty well, so let's see who wins these playoffs. I'm betting on the Warriors. Why would I not? Warriors-Cavs finals. That's pretty surprising. So it's been three years of not making the playoffs and the fans are getting tired. We need to make some big moves. Reggie Jackson is going to have to go for Kemba Walker because we're going to throw in uh, the 11th pick because we also have pick two and see if they agree to this. And we'll throw them a second round pick as well. They want some more picks so we'll throw them another first. And they should agree to this. Orlando's in a rebuild. And we're also going to go after Drew Holiday. We're going to play him at shooting guard if we're able to get him. We're going to throw pick two and Stanley Johnson at the Clippers. We already have a point guard in Shai Gilgis, and they're paying him $20 million a year. So it makes sense for them. They need a small forward. I think this is a good trade. So for the final season, this is what the roster is looking like. Andre Drummond, Kemba Walker, Drew Holiday, Nazaron Reed, LeCue, Luke Kennard, Henry Ellison, um, we did move Drew Holiday to shooting guard and he went up to an 86 overall. So here's the rotation. We should make the playoffs. If we don't, then that's going to be a huge failure. But So Bol Bol for the Clippers winning MVP already. Um, Rodriguez rookie of the year. Bol Bol defensive player of the year. And Malone for the Nuggets coach of the year. Let's see if anyone made an all NBA team. It looks like only Drummond made an all defensive second team. So that's not too bad. We were the fourth seed, so pretty good season, winning 46 games. A lot of improvement from this team over the four years. Finally in the playoffs, playing the Atlanta Hawks. We'll have Trey Young at shooting guard and Cole Anthony. So that'll be a tough matchup. Keldon Johnson led us in scoring, then Kemba Walker. Pretty good season from everyone. So in the first round, it looks like we're going to have a pretty easy time. We're up 3-0 on the Atlanta Hawks. Let's see if we can finish with a sweep. And we're in Atlanta, so it's going to be a tough game. And we do complete the sweep. Uh, Kemba Walker, a good game. Also LeCue. But, yeah. I, I had some um, worries about facing the Hawks because they have a lot of three-point shooters, but... Second round against the Miami Heat. We're up 3-1. to one. Let's see if we can close this out in six games. Actually, five games. Hopefully, we don't go to six games, but it looks like we might be going to a sixth game. And we are going to have to go to six games. Kemba Walker, 27 points. Wasn't enough. The team has Romeo Langford and Charles Basie, so two pretty good young guys. But we can't go to a game seven. Game seven's a toss-up, as you guys know. We should be able to close it out, and we do in a blowout by 20 points. Luke Kennard, actually. Actually, no, Keldon Johnson dropping 37 points. He's been a beast for us in these playoffs, so hopefully he continues that. Conference finals. We're playing the Cleveland Cavaliers. Ooh, I don't know how they're getting back to the conference finals and the finals last year without LeBron, but I guess Colin Sexton has just been carrying them. And it looks like we are going to lose this game, so I'm going to hop in, get you guys some gameplay. Well, since this game's pretty much over, I'm just going to play a little bit, try to get some buckets, but 
I want to talk a little bit about the Detroit Pistons and what I think they should do in real life. Um, obviously, they traded away a lot of pieces to get Blake Griffin, who's on a massive deal. I think he's getting paid like $35 million a year, and then at one point, he might even get to $40 million a year. I think that's overpaying for a guy who really hasn't won that much in the NBA. He's really not proven to be a superstar. He's more of a... He's a star, but he's not a go-to guy on a team to carry you to the playoffs like maybe Steph Curry or um, LeBron, Kawhi, the guys like that. So he should not be getting that much money, but they did trade for him. So I think you give them maybe one year. You give them a full year. If they don't make the playoffs, then you trade away Blake Griffin. I don't think you trade away Andre Drummond because you're probably not going to get enough value back for him. But Blake Griffin, if you don't make the playoffs next year, you have to trade him. I think you have to trade him. And if you do make the playoffs, then give them another year. But at some point, this duo has to get to at least the conference finals, I think. And if they don't, then you have to move on. And it was a gamble to get Blake Griffin. If it doesn't work out, you have to do the right thing. You can get some good value for him. Obviously, teams that are contend trying to contend now will overpay like Dallas or um, Orlando even could pay up. Teams like that that are just missing a piece. Maybe maybe the Celtics go after Blake if it's the right package. Maybe um, the Pelicans if they're trying to unload bad contracts. But yeah, I don't see Blake Griffin and Andre Drummond doing much. But they could... Prove me wrong. They got a new coach in Dwayne Casey, who I really like. I don't know why the Raptors inspired him, but he was doing a great job. I also like Luke Kennard and Kyrie Thomas. Bruce Brown, I think. He's a hit or miss. You don't really know with these guys that have been injured in college, but... So let's check out the stats. Kemba Walker had 21 points, 6 assists. Nazarene Reed, 16 and 7. No one really scored that many points. That's why they lost. And this team, I don't know how the Cavs got Klay Thompson, but that will not happen in real life. But I can't control what other teams do, obviously. So the Cavs are back in the finals. Never thought I'd see that without LeBron James. Kings, Cavs finals, and the Kings win it all. So that's going to do it for this rebuild. Let me know what you guys thought of this team. Let me know if tra uh, trading Blake Griffin was a good move or not. Uh, let me know if you're a Pistons fan, what you expect from this team next season. And let me know what other teams I should do next. Also comment any ideas you guys have for videos. And make sure to subscribe for more videos. Up in my room and ponder, finish school and get a doctor. I'm 22, I gotta get it now. Man, who knew he'd have to figure it out? Trap.